Problem 10 wants us to do some implicit differentiation. The first one is x squared, y squared, uh, minus y cubed, plus 3xy, minus 1 equal to 0. And I go ahead and I start differentiating this expression. And let's see. When I take the derivative of x squared, y squared, first of all, we treat y as a function of x. So that means that when we take the derivative of a function of y, we have to apply the chain rule. The inside function is y, the outside function is whatever the function of y is. So you could take the derivative of the function as normal, except you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is y. So therefore, you have to multiply by the derivative of y, which is y prime. Great. In other words, what I'm saying is the derivative with respect to x of a function of y is the derivative of f, the normal derivative of f applied to y times y prime. All right, so x squared, y squared, that requires the product rule because it's x squared times y squared. So I got 2x times y squared plus x squared times the derivative of y squared, which is 2y times y prime. Now I'm subtracting y cubed. The derivative of y cubed is minus, uh, well, minus y cubed is minus 3y squared by the power rule, but again, I have to multiply by the derivative of y, which is y prime. All right, let's keep going. This is the product rule, 3xy. So the derivative of 3x is 3 times y plus 3x times the derivative of y, which is just y prime. Minus 1 is a constant, so it's derivative of 0. I'm not even going to bother writing that. And this is all equal to 0. Now I want to solve for y prime. So I've got three people who have y prime as factors. This guy, this guy, this guy. I'm going to leave them here. The other two I'm going to subtract over to the left-hand side so that I can solve for y prime. I'm left with, I'm going to sort of skip a little bit of a step here. Not really skip a step, but uh, do a couple of things at once. So on the left-hand side, I'm left with x squared times 2y minus 3y squared plus 3x times y prime. So I just took these guys that I underlined and I factored out the y prime and combined them into that. On the right-hand side, I have minus 2xy squared minus 3y. So finally, I divide both sides by x squared 2y minus 3y squared plus 3x all over. So on the right hand side, I got negative 2xy squared minus 3y squared all over x squared 2y minus 3y squared plus 3x. And that is my y prime because on this left hand side, these two things cancel out. Let's see? Great. Good. Canceled. All right, next one. The next one is uh, E. What happened there? I don't know what happened there. Okay, E raised to the x plus y power is equal to the natural logarithm of x, y. Uh, this one you might actually want to use some log laws to sort of uh, expand out the right hand side, which you're totally allowed to do. But I'm just going to attack it as it's written because I, I presume that's the way that most people are going to attack this if, if when they try it. So I take the derivative of both sides. The left-hand side is e to the function x plus y, so I apply the chain rule. The outside function is e to the whatever. Its derivative is e to the whatever, so I write e to the uh, whatever applied to the inside function, which is x plus y, and I get x plus y. Then I multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is x plus y, and I get 1 plus y prime. Derivative of x is 1, derivative of y is y prime. On the right-hand side, I'm going to use the uh, logarithmic derivative, which says that to take the derivative of the natural log of something, you take the derivative of that thing and then divide by that thing. So the derivative of x times y, I can compute using the product rule. And I get uh, 1 times y 
plus x times the derivative of y, which is y prime. So derivative of x times y plus x times derivative of y, and that all goes over x y. So now this is a little bit tricky because I want to get all the things with a y prime onto one side and all the things without a y prime onto the other side. But the, uh, but the thing is, I really want things that have a factor of y prime. On the left and on the right, I don't have any terms that are uh, have y prime as a factor. This thing on the left has 1 plus y prime as a factor. And this thing on the right is just wacky. Well, what I'm going to do is on the left, I'm going to actually distribute through e to the x plus y over the multiplication, uh, and over this sum over here, rather. And on the right, I'm going to distribute the division over the addition. So on the left-hand side, I get e to the x plus y times 1 plus e to the x plus y times y prime is equal to, on the left-hand side, I have y divided by xy plus x times y prime over xy. Great. Now, um, the guys in boxes have no y primes, and the guys in circles have y prime as a factor. So if I subtract the guy on the right with the circle you know, over to the left, and I subtract the guy on the left in the box over to the right, I end up with, just allow me not to do this algebra, uh, explicitly, I end up with e to the x plus y times y prime minus, let me cancel out these x's, minus y prime over y is equal to, on the right-hand side, let me cancel out these y's, I have 1 over x minus e to the x plus y. Great. I can factor out the y prime, now I'm left with y prime uh, times e to the x plus y minus 1 over y is equal to 1 over x minus e to the x plus y. Now if I take this guy and divide both sides by it, I end up with y prime, it, yikes, I'm out of practice with this tablet, y prime is equal to 1 over x uh, minus e to the x plus y over e to the x plus y minus 1 over y. It looks sort of symmetric in some sort of way, some sort of symmetry. Uh, great. So that is our uh, final answer here. Cool.